Hey, my name is Zazaris, a charity focused content creator within the looter shooter and MMO genres. I am an official content creator or ambassador for games like Warframe, Outriders, and Lost Ark. I stream regularly on Twitch most Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays around 10 p.m. Pacific time. Links for my socials, including Twitch, are in the description below. For those of you who like, subscribe here on YouTube, follow on Twitch, and comment regarding your favorite part of World Slayers, I have a prize for you. A complete Outriders World Slayer edition on Steam to randomly give away over the next week. Drawing will be picked at random on Thursday, July 7th. Special thanks to Square Enix and People Can Fly. In our early access overview video for the Altar of Oak Riel, link for that is in the description above, I was one of the first, if not the first, to showcase the boss fight for Oak Riel the Traitor. That playthrough was literally my first look at Oak Riel solo and using my trickster main from base game. Admittedly, after World Slayer patch, that class appears to have the worst healing in game at present. Thanks to all of you watching that video, you requested a more complete playthrough showcasing the mechanics in even more detail, and I am proud to deliver. When you first enter the room, you have a brief opportunity to DPS the boss before he becomes shielded or immune. Make sure to watch out around the floor for his large AOE attacks that are absolutely brutal. Next, you need to capture the zone whereby the crystal monolith pillars show energy going towards the boss. Once at the pillar, this essentially activates the next phase, horde mode. If rushing enemies were not enough, make sure to watch out for the boss's AOE attacks as well. Best tip here is to try to stay at the pillar, step in and out of the capture zone while slaying enemies and averting the boss's AOE. Corsairs are the worst enemy here. They have lots of HP, they're fast and they close gaps with ease and they hit hard. Make sure to clear all ads before proceeding to the next phase or it has the potential to activate a white mechanic. DPS the boss again until he is immune and look for the next pillar. If solo, this phase should only include one pillar to capture. But if in playing duos or a team of three, this has the potential to require multiple zones, two or maybe three, to be captured simultaneously like you see here. Once complete with each zone, Make sure to help your teammate capture their zone or it will be a wipe. Some interesting things to point out here is that depending on the time of day and season in game, certain enemies and mechanics can change in the end game Taria Gritar. Additionally, each boss is health gated, so keep that in mind. From here, it's a rinse and repeat cycle of capturing zones, killing all the adds, taking down the shields via the pillars, and ultimately finishing off the boss. Lastly, it appears Okriel has an enrage mechanic related to his obliteration timer that can wipe the team. Based on my playthrough, such wipe mechanic appears to be present in a number of ways. First, Failure to capture the zones, allowing the pillar to essentially descend to the ground level. It's an automatic wipe. 
failure to kill all of the ads that spawn them, especially the Corsairs and Destroyers, may activate the white mechanic. And around one quarter health, it appears you have limited time to complete the mechanic described here and ultimately DPS the boss. Up until this point, you kind of have as much time as needed, but once you get to about one fourth, you gotta go burr. Hope you enjoyed this in-depth how-to for the Altar of Ocreal. This is literally the most mechanic heavy of all the bosses so far. Remember, thanks to Square Enix and People Can Fly, we have an exclusive giveaway to our subscribers that like, follow on Twitch, and comment regarding your favorite part of World Slayer. Drawing will be picked at random Thursday, July 7th. Be good to each other and happy gaming.